Hey everyone, it's Claudia with Crazy Island Studios. Welcome to my first episode of Deco Art Monday. The speed through video that you just saw was me creating this super cool spider web. Um, I did that ahead of time so that I could let this dry for a few hours. Uh, because here in Hawaii where the humidity is crazy, it takes a long time for things to air dry. Uh, what it is is Windsor & Newton masking fluid. It's watercolor masking fluid that I put into a fine line bottle and I just squeezed it out to make my spider web. And I did this all ahead of time so I could get back with you guys. Um, this is my first Deco Art Monday. And for those of you who follow Gina Aaron, you know that she already does Mondays with Deco Art. And so I asked her, hey, would it be cool if I did Deco Art Mondays also? That way, um, you know, we can kind of encourage our viewers to go check out each other's Deco Art um, projects. And she thought that was a great idea. That way you can check out my videos, you can check out her videos, and get twice as much good stuff. So, um, if you don't know, I was accepted into the Deco Art Helping Artist Program, which means that as an instructor, they've provided me with some supplies so that I can share those supplies with you, show you guys some new techniques. We're not like paid sponsors or anything like that, but Deco Art has provided, um, other than this masking fluid and my journal, they have provided all the art supplies that I'll be using today uh, so that I can share those products with you as well as teach you guys some new techniques. So I'm really excited to get started. Now, I did notice after I put on my masking fluid that I got a couple of drops that were not part of the spider web and I let those dry and I'm just going to pick those off now so that my paint will stick to those areas because wherever the masking fluid is the paint will not stick and I wanted to create this resist which is what this is so I can apply some of this mister sprays on top of it and then pull this off and we'll still have this light colored spider web underneath this is actually um, the technique that I used for the prompt yesterday for journaling Crazy Island style. Um, and I didn't record the lesson for that prompt, so I decided I was just gonna go ahead and share it with you guys today on YouTube. So uh, what I'm going to start with are some of the Deco Art Media Misters. And I'm going to pull three colors. These are like my favorite three spray colors to use like ever in life. Um, I have the primary magenta, excuse the background noise, I'm sure at this point you're hearing not only the generator that's running, but now a helicopter. Because you can't close windows and it's noisy and I apologize. I'll do my best to get it all out of the background, but whatever you're hearing is as good as I could get. So I apologize for any issues with the audio quality in the video. I'm also going to be using this turquoise which happens to be a shimmer mister which is going to make this amazing shimmer on the page that I love. And then some yellow because pink and yellow makes a really pretty orange and yellow and turquoise makes a really pretty green and pink and turquoise makes a really pretty purple. So as long as I don't get the purple and the yellow mixed or the green and the purple mixed, you just have to kind of separate them a little bit. Um, your pink and blue can mix and then kind of keep your yellow mixing with just your pink and just your blue not with where the pink and blue is already mixed. If that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to give these a quick really good shake up and I'm just going to give these a spray. Now these are acrylic sprays um, which is different than like the dilutions that you have probably usually seen me use. These are acrylic sprays. So what does that mean? That means that they dry permanent and you can work on top of them. That is super exciting. What that also means is that you have to take some extra care to take care of your spray bottles because acrylic paint will dry and clog up your misters. So it is important that you do um, follow some steps to take proper care of them, like making sure that you clean the nozzles and um, I am being super careful because I love these colors and I don't want them to clog so when I'm done I make sure that I spray all of the excess out of the tube. I take this actually off the bottle and spray it until there's no more um, acrylic paint inside the tube so that seems to be working so far. 
Okay, so another thing that I've been doing, and I, it might be a little bit of an excessive step, is that when I'm done using the bottles and I've cleaned them and I've emptied them, I take the spray mister off and I put it on this bottle of brush and stencil cleaner and spray the cleaner through it and then spray that until it's totally empty. So I have to kind of prime my sprays. It sounds like a lot of work and a lot of trouble, but the colors are amazing. The fact that it's permanent is amazing. So I, so far I'm finding that I think that this is not that bad of a process to have to follow. Okay, let's get spraying. And I just want to keep it kind of random. Get some spots with this. This blue shimmer, oh, I wish I could like send this to you so you could see how amazing this shimmer color comes out. It's just so beautiful. Let's get some more pink in there. It's more pink in there. Oh, like, you just can't have too much pink. Now what I did here was kind of on accident. If you spray these nozzles a little bit, you can um, direct some splattery sprays instead of a full-on mist. So be cautious of that if that's not something that you like. this blue is so pretty okay am I loving this I think I'm at the point of loving this all right I think I'm there okay so I'm gonna make sure I get to the edge of my page here there we go it's right here a little extra pink okay and I am actually going to blot this just for the purposes of allowing it to dry more quickly because I, well, I don't have um, constant electricity and the little generator that we're running right now is not sufficient to run like my heat gun. So I, can, I have to let all of this stuff air dry. Now you'll notice that I didn't really pick up a lot off the paper and that is, I actually knew that was going to happen. I'm mostly picking up what's just sitting on top of the masking fluid which I really do need to take off before I remove the masking fluid anyways but these sprays absorb and and they're not dry but they will dry quickly into this raw paper so I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes I'm going to clean up my overspray and take care of my misters and I'll be back in just a second okay so these are totally not dry I'm trying to see what you guys are seeing can you see oh gosh you can see the shimmer because it's got a horrible reflection doesn't it that's okay we're gonna cover up part of that but yes it's very very shimmery excuse my sound of my chair moving around but yeah it, there's some there's some serious shine going on from that turquoise which is a shimmer mist I do want to tell you about this if you do spray a heavy concentration they do bleed through this is just a I was playing with a pen um, they will bleed through so be prepared for that on your back page um, if you're doing that if you're using a heavier concentration just plan on gessoing the next page or the one previous if it already has a coating of acrylic you're fine um, it shouldn't bleed through on that one so the next thing I'm going to do is to remove all of this masking fluid so uh it's gonna take just a second and my paper did my paper tear i think my paper tore right there goodness gracious so it's going to oh perhaps my masking fluid is not fully dry because it appears to be removing paper with it yeah Okay, so that's going to have to dry quite a bit longer. Okay, so I've actually let this fully dry now and it should stop peeling my paper off. So just a tip, if you're using a masking fluid, make sure it's 100% dry. Otherwise, you're going to just keep tearing up your paper. So I'm gonna peel this off and then I'll be back when it's done. <clears throat> Okay, so I finally managed to get all of that masking fluid off of 
the page and as you can see in a lot of places it actually pulled up the paper and damaged it a little bit. I thought it was the masking fluid um, and I realized it's not. It's the paper. It's this journal and this is my Dilusions journal. Um, the paper just doesn't hold up well and I am not hugely familiar with it because I don't use it very often as you can see I have many pages not done in this journal because I've kind of fallen in love with the Strathmore journals after I um, already own this one and the Strathmore journal is what I use for my journaling Crazy Island style and I'll show you the page that I made that I'm doing a similar technique for for you guys today is going to be similar to this page that I made here and I did the same technique with the masking fluid and it pulled off just fine so I think it's just the quality of the paper the Strathmore journals have their 500 series mixed media paper it's what I use for my freedom journal Fridays and it's also what I use for JKIS and I may have to get another one just for you guys and your deco art Mondays because um, yeah I need the paper to hold up to whatever it is that I want to do and I already know that Dilusions paper doesn't handle water media really well like lots of watercolor and stuff it'll it'll start to pill and come up and I know that so I use a lot of acrylics and stuff so I just wasn't expecting the masking fluid to do this which was kind of a bummer but you know it's not the end of the world but I am going to just go ahead and move forward I want to grab my carbon black and I'm not doing the same exact page as I did um, in my uh, JKS lesson, I just really wanted to show you guys this technique with the Deco Art sprays, which I am in love with. It did bleed through a little bit, so be prepared for that. Um, let's see, I want to make some spiders, and I still want to do that same quote because I thought that was kind of cute. And let's see, what else do I need? <sighs> not much. You will see I'm not doing the skull that I did on the other page and that was done with a an Andy Skinner stencil. Um, I believe. Yeah, an Andy Skinner stencil from DecoArt and I mixed because I couldn't get their black modeling paste they didn't have anymore. So um, it was one of the items that didn't arrive with my order and so I used this their traditional modeling paste and I mixed it with uh, black gesso and I chose gesso um, to mix it with because it would help keep it matte and I really like that look and it turned out pretty doggone dark black which I wasn't sure if that would happen because you know it's black and white modeling paste but it turned out black so I was really happy with it Alrighty, so I want to do, instead of what I did last, on my last one, I kind of want to do some spiders hanging down, like three of them, and a little bit smaller than the last page. So, let's see. Let's start with one here. If you have trouble making the circles or you don't like imperfect circles, you know, find something to stamp it with and then color inside of it would be my suggestion. It'd be the easiest. Okay, so um, because I'm like, I like the whole Halloween thing and you know, creepy and all of that, but I really want these to be kind of cute. So um, I have this Glamour Dust Ultra Fine Glitter Paint. It's in silver. So I'm hoping that if I mix it with some black, it'll be kind of cool and not be too, uh, I don't want it to turn my spiders silver. So. I'm going to mix it in with the black so I can get the glitter and still have my spiders be black. And I'm going to repaint over them so that they are sparkly spiders. And I'm just going to do their bodies and their heads, not their legs or their 
little pinchers or whatever those are. That makes me happy. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and turn these so you can see a little bit of the shimmer on them. I don't know. It just makes them look cute on their little shimmery web. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so these are getting a little tiny bit dry and I'm going to get out a little bit of titanium white and do the little webs that they're hanging from to start with. And it has to be white because their spider web is white. Otherwise, if you did your spider web in black with paint instead of like doing the masking fluid because you could totally just do a bunch of sprays and then do this with black paint if you don't have the masking fluid and that would be really cute and then you could do the spiders hanging from black which still I think might look better than the white which is kind of funny hmm it might have to be white huh I mean black I think it might have to even though it's not realistic which is okay it's, it's okay so the cool thing about these sprays is that they are acrylic so you can wipe over them if you need to remove something which you can't do with some of the water soluble sprays that continue moving so I guess we're going to come back in with a little bit more black again and do the little webs that they're coming from just because it just because it happens to look a little better which is weird but okay Okay, that works for me. So we'll just go with that. And then I want to get a little bit of white going in here. And you want to add some eyeballs to these spiders. These spiders you can see are way more creepy. And a little bit of highlight along one side of their body. My black paint isn't totally dry, so I'm trying to do this really lightly so that I don't drag through it and turn everything gray. Let me get the black off my brush. And then you can do some on the legs if you want to, but my spiders aren't very big, so I'm not going to add any highlights to their legs. So this needs to dry for a minute, and I'm actually almost done. So yeah, simple page, fun, simple, quick page. Um, let me let this dry for a minute. I need those black lines to dry a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to do my quote, and I'm actually going to hand paint them with a brush. You could do this with a marker or whatever if you wanted to. And I'm going to do it in white, and then I'm going to come back over it with a little bit of um, black on top of it. And I just added a drop of water to this paint to thin it out. Probably would be really good to use. Maybe some of the craft paint would work too for this, but we're going to go forward like this. Okay, I'm going to have to let that dry for a moment and then I'm going to go back over that with black. Okay, so I haven't let this dry completely so it might mix a little bit, make some gray and I'm okay with that. I'm switching to a slightly smaller brush. I was using a number four round and now I'm going to switch to a number three round just so I can hopefully keep a little bit of that white showing through. All done with the quote. Ooh, I kind of like that. I was thinking I was going to edge the page in black, but I think I'm not. Just because there's a lot of black happening on the page already and I don't want to darken it up and I don't want to hide any more of the really cool sprays and stuff that are there. Um, I kind of like it the way it is. So I think it's going to stay. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. What do you guys think? Kind of a cute page, huh? I just wanted to do something fun and cute and Halloween-ish since it's October and hopefully I'll come up with another one before next week and I'll be able to do this. Like I said, um, Deco Art Mondays are going to be every week or two weeks. I'm hoping for every week, but um, we'll see. 
if I can get on that schedule and get it worked out with my internet issues and everything. Um, otherwise, it'll be every couple of weeks I will get out a new Deco Art Monday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope that you guys like the video, like the page, make the page, do some fun stuff for Halloween, um, send me some pictures of what you've done because I like seeing that. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you like the videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything and please leave me a comment, leave me a question. I will respond to every single comment. It takes me a few days now instead of every day because of my internet but I do respond to every single comment or question if you have any. I'm more than happy to help in any way I can. So be sure to um, leave me some comments and I will chat with you guys. So thanks again so much for watching, being a part of my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys all again very soon. Bye for now.